949, good morning. You're watching CTV Morning Live. Trish Stolte is with me from Dover Court. Uh, you're part of the communications department. Mm -hmm. So um, Dover Court setting up day camps uh, for the Christmas break mm -hmm. for when parents maybe don't have the time off. They're back at work, and uh, right. we're talking 28th to 30th of December, mm -hmm. and then the 3rd to the 6th of mm -hmm. January. So uh, we already saw some of the cool activities you could do, like clay, using clay and things like that. I got all cleaned up. My skin's never been better. Um, now, let's talk about culinary camps and uh, the fact that you guys actually do this in the summer quite a bit, mm -hmm. um, where kids can learn how to cook. This is something that you know, parents sometimes don't get the chance to teach their kids. Yeah, especially with home ec not being offered in schools anymore yeah. and people being very busy and often not having family meals. It's kind of a, not a dying art, but... Uh, Do you see six to eight-year-olds who are really into it? Yeah, 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 for sure. And it's quite novel for them. And, uh, you know, pottery and culinary are probably two of our camps that fill up most quickly. Okay. And uh, so very, very popular. And in the summertime, when we've got a whole week at a time, there's often a theme per week. So we might have an Asian week or a Mexican week yeah. or, internet, you know, um, Canadian week. Um, and at Christmas time, because it's a little bit more condensed, we'll offer an international week. So we'll maybe pick a different type of food oh, cool. every day. You could be making Thai food one day and the next okay. day you're doing French cuisine like creme brulee. Yeah. So the cool thing about this, parents, is that you send them off to camp and then they come home and make this stuff for you. Not only that, they come home with a recipe book, but they also decorate the room. There's a restaurant at the end of the week. Okay. So the parents come and have a meal and they're served by their children. Their orders are taken. There's a, a little cookbook. They'll make um, a little chef's hat like this that they all will wear. Dover, you know, Dover it's Caps optional whether you wear that uh, this morning. Well, it's okay. We're you're good. Okay. You're right. good. Um, <laughs> and so they'll decorate the room and do placemats and menus and everything uh, supporting all of the recipes that they're making. Then they'll serve their parents the dishes that they're Talk to me about creme brulee. How does it actually happen? I forget now. Uh, mm -hmm. It's cream. Yeah, it's a very simple recipe, actually, very rich. It's mm -hmm. uh, egg yolks, a ton of egg yolks, yes. and sugar, and cream, and vanilla. Okay. And you put it in a water bath, so when these were baking, there was water in here, and all the little dishes are sitting. And um, when you take them out, they're kind of pudding-like, and you cool them. And then the part that we're going to do today is we're going to sprinkle them with sugar and do that nice, crusty... Okay, how much sugar top. goes on top? You know, approximately, a, like, a two two teaspoons or a tablespoon. And you want it so evenly? you can sprinkle that on, even, yeah, evenly. Okay. Oh, that's not even close to evenly? Yeah, no, that's good. Okay. That's good, and, and one of the recipes I saw said, you know, you could take <laughs> off the, uh, the excess, excess just oh, okay. so that there's not all kinds of uh, stuff. Right. And then you have to uh, burn it. Right. Literally, you're burning the sugar, and that's what makes that beautiful. We have our butane torch, which hopefully will hold a flame long enough to yes, do that. Yes, it's uh, doing it now. Yeah. Just a little so science you lesson in here, too. Yeah, right? that's starting right. starting to bubble and caramelize. And you can see it go golden, right? Yeah. And you don't awesome want to... technique. Well, thanks. Even heating is on yeah. what the cooking's all about. So, and then this cools down yes. and becomes uh, a nice crust on top. My That's favorite right. thing is breaking through the creme That's brulee. That's right. That is the thrill of creme brulee. Mm -hmm. That's, oh, it's making me hungry just doing this. Yeah. And the smells that come off of uh, the sugars, obviously. Yes. So I'm going to, oh, there it goes, starting to get yeah. a little browner. Very good. And so this, uh, this is something they're learning, actually, and the funny thing about a camp like this is uh, you start to see aptitudes and which way a child leans sometimes, and mm -hmm. maybe they become a culinary specialist, right? Mm -hmm. Or and they realize that, you know, something very sophisticated is, in fact, not that hard or Right, you know, it's not scary. Yeah. So go ahead, and yeah. you challenge yourself, and you overcome, and you're like, oh, so new things mm -hmm. don't have to be scary to kids. Mm -hmm. Here's the best part, right? Yeah. You just break it a little yeah. bit. Get yourself a little yeah. creme brulee. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Delicious. Awesome. Of course, it's creme brulee. <laughs> I just gained three pounds, but it's all right. That is really good. Um, so the how to again? We just want to remind parents how they uh, sign up for a camp. Yeah, they can in person by phone or online mm -hmm. uh, at www.dovercourt.org. The March Break flyer, which you're eating or oh, it's being shown right now. Yeah, perfect. It has all the information. We have theme camps and we have specialty camps. Culinary being one of the specialty camps. Uh, slightly different offering in that first week um, that we're offering. A, there's a daily option for people whose holidays are you know they might have some days off and some days not, so they don't want their child in for the full week. And then following New Year's, uh, it's a weekly option and that's when the specialty camps are offered we have pre and post care and as well we have camp lunches that are available in that second week so it's pretty easy i like that all the information right there uh very cool dover court day camps you want to get signed up soon yes, they fill up quickly and uh march break ones um the flyer will be out in the beginning of december and that registration will be december 19th and there, wow. there will be people i mean the camp the christmas camps are already well underway in terms of registration all right excellent
All right, let's head over to Kurt and Leanne. Wish you were having this creme brulee with me, but uh, glad I don't have to share it, really. 